everyone welcome to my channel today the card that i have for you is the 2022 genesis gv60 that is a full electric car from genesis and the first so let's show you what is this car about so first i'm going to show you the key of the car so the key is very nice it's like in fully white with the genesis logo here with some buttons here like remote start getting the car front and back and for opening the charging slot and lock unlock trunk opening and panic button so now i'm going to get inside and turn on these led projector setup lights that are pretty nice in my opinion put on the brake start button you can see the full lights are on so as you know genesis all cars get two part headlights so on the top you have five projector setups on the bottom you have five projector setups when you turn the hazards on three are hazards on top three are hazards on down simple as that now if we come to the front fascia and the under body as this is an electric car it doesn't have a radiator at the front so it doesn't need that much ventilation so maximum place are closed but it's a little open so the air can fit inside for aerodynamics and the front lower diffuser is kind of ag aggressive you have the number plate slot here with ontario's green number plate that is for electric cars and thanks to genesis brampton performance auto group for providing this car to me and especially mike so you have the front camera there and six sensors at the front now if we get up you have the genesis logo right here with genesis written and the two-part headlight design here and you have two lines on the headlight very simple and you have two lines on the hood rain sensor wipers are on your front cameras for the adaptive brake assist and your lane keep assist and your speed limit monitor now i'm going to show you the car's side profile so now i'm going to show you the car's side profile so first let's start by showing you guys the wheel so first let's show you the wheel the wheel design on this car is phenomenal. It is literally finesse. It is chrome wheels and it is so nicely designed. These are 255 40R21s with six piston regenerative brakes at the front. You have strut suspension with coil springs at the front. You have the reflector because North American spec. And the contrast with the body panels of the color is really good. If we get up from there, this is the exterior mirror. If I unlock the car, it's going to unfold automatically. It has its button here, side mirror here. You have black accent here, black accent here, but you have chrome accents on the top. Rear window is privacy glass. You have a roof rail that is in black. And then if you come to the back, you can see chrome starts from here. Does this edge come up here? But this is not a SUV. This is the smallest SUV, but not a SUV. This is the first starting SUV from Genesis. This is considered to be a crossover, but this is the smallest. It's the GV60, GV70, GV80, the flagship. Three SUVs. This is the smallest one. And I did the GV80 and the GV70. Now I'm doing this. And when it comes to door handles, the door handles on these cars, I really like it on this electric. If you unlock the car once, you can see all of the door handles come out. Pull for open, push, lock, it pops in. Aerodynamic efficiency. Now if we go down here, you can see the side skirts are also in that color, but with black accent as well. Contrast is mind-blowing. The rear wheels are same as the front because it's an all-wheel drive car, but single piston brakes. And, and if you get up from there, how will you charge this car? You have a button here. If it's unlocked, if you just press this, push, it's going to flap up. Then you can charge the car with DC or AC, fast charger and normal chargers. And then how many times it's going to take the charge it's going to be up there but it tells you that it has half a gallon in considered to be a petrol car and this is the button to close it and yeah that's pretty much it for the side profile but it is a very good looking car considering a crossover now let me show you the rear so now i'm going to get inside the car for turning on the rear tail light so here we go If 
I come outside now for showing the tail lights. You have the same design with the two part tail lights. So this is your full tail light, the hazards on, that's why it's blinking. You have the reflectors at the side, and then you have this treatment until here with Genesis written down here and the same on the other side. If we come up, you have a functional spoiler here with the upper stop brake light and your reversing camera right there. And you have the GV60 bats that I forgot to show you. And then if you go down now, if we go you down, you have the number plate slot here with no exhaust because it's electric, but you have this nice diffuser look with six sensors and your reflectors and a towing hook. Now if you get up, you have this rear windshield that has privacy glass, your shock fin antenna and a panoramic roof. That's going to be pretty much it for the exterior. Now I'm going to show you the car's engine or battery or electric motor and the practicality of this car. So for opening the boot, if I just press a button and the key, the boot is going to powerly open and then you have maximum amount of room considering a crossover and then if you look at the underflow storage you have the charge of the car and the towing hook of the car there with a nice bag but then if you go back very much space you have a partial cover as well so if you want to keep everything neat and clean you could do that or if you want more storage you could get up this on this side you have a 12 volt socket so if you are carrying something at the back you could use it it's right there 12 volt socket and light placement here but if you need more storage, you can fold down the seat that I'm going to just do right now. Thing here, there we go. And just pull this. This is the 60. And then if I go to the other side. The Lamborghini doors. And this is the 40. There you go. That is the maximum storage you're gonna get on this car. And that's going to be pretty much it. For closing the boot, you have the button for closing it and the boot's gonna close and lock the car. So there, that's gonna do that. And now I'm going to show you the car's engine. So I'm going to open the hood of the car from the driver's side. So there, and then I can open the hood from right here for showing you guys the electric motor of the car. So we're sliding that open and the hydraulic shots are going to get this up. So this car gets a 235 kilowatt hour electric motor and a single speed transmission. So this is your front storage area. So you could put a little bit of storage here and that's pretty much it. But it says Genesis there. You have your uh, windshield wiper fluid and your radiator fluid because you have one radiator for this car for the battery and you have your fuse box here. Very simple. And then this car also has a lithium ion traction battery that is 10.6 kilowatt hour and when it comes to power output it's not bad and it produces 314 horsepower and 446 pound feet of torque that is really good for this car and that's going to be pretty much it you have insulation on top and now let's close the hood let's get it closer and there we go and now i'm going to go on the interior of the genesis gv60 but before that let me just give you a brief talk about electric vehicles so first there were petrol vehicles then they decided to make it more efficient and put diesel engines then they decided to make hybrid diesels but then they made hybrid petrols but now they have to stop making car engines so they completely stopped the engine and now they started making electric vehicles so in the whole world they are going to stop the cars at 2035 but Germany rejected that thing and said no we're still gonna make petrol cars do whatever you want so that's why Germans are gonna be still with the petrol cars but everywhere else manufacturer will go to electric like everyone now has an electric model yeah very sad so yeah now let's get inside the interior one more thing before I go inside do you guys even know Rolls-Royce went electric like bro what are you guys doing from V12 to complete electric mind-blowing now let's get inside the interior so here we get inside the rear seats. So as this is a crossover, the headroom shouldn't be that good, but it actually is. I don't know how much I say crossover on this car, but the seats are so good. It's quilted leather, full white interior. Just love it. So get this down. You have a center armrest with two cup holders, isofix center points here, and isofix center points here. You can see the things right there. But yeah, it's very comfortable. You have seat pockets behind the front seats two USB-C types here and a huge storage area here. No transmission tunnel, that's good. And you have blinds too at the back. 
right there. That's nice. It has a full panoramic roof, so I'm just going to slide that open so the cover opens up and in a nice way. So then you can look at the sky, but it is tinted. So yeah. But yeah, it actually has very fog in it, so that's why you can't see it. But I'm going to come on the door, but before that, this is the grab handle, and then you have a light policeman in there. So on the door, you can see first of all, you have your gray leather with white stitching all the way to the back. Then you have this quilted leather with your reflective treatment. This is your door handle, this is your bang and lift and speaker. And if you go down, you have a bottle holder here, heated seats for the back, lock and unlock. This is for the window opener and the window goes down. Not fully, but you have a blind too that you can put up. Right there. And then if you come back here, you have a bottle holder, a big speaker, and ambient lighting behind here with the AC vent here as well. And that's going to be pretty much it for the back. Now I'm going to go at the front. So let's show you the dash first. First of all, you have your airbag here with your AC vent, with your closer and opener with this nice trim. And this is not a glove box. This is a drawer with a lot of storage and you have your owner's manual in there. So after we close this, you have two more AC vents at the center. Then let's come here. Two cup holders, ventilating and heating seat for the passenger buttons, parking sensors off and on for looking at the 360 degree camera, auto hold, steering heater, and this is for my side. And then what is this? This is just a crystal nice slot. No. I'm going to start the car. There it moves around and gives you your gear nobble. Then you can put it in drive, put it in neutral, or put it in reverse. And then you can see your reversing camera pops up with the adaptive guidelines. I put it back to park, turn it off, it goes back. Good engineering. Then this is your civil wheel for your infotainment and it is very nice with diamond cut on the sides. And then you can move this side to side and front and back too. And behind that you have your volume and your tuning button. Then you have your back home and menu shortcut buttons and this nice trim here. Now if you go down there you have two USB-C types and then you have a 12 volt socket. Then if you go up from there, now I'm going to show you the car's infotainment system and the AC vents. Put on the brake, pressing the start button, there it turns on. So this is an uh, infotainment system that is fully connected from this screen to that screen. So let's just confirm that. So this is your welcome menu. You have your date, time, your what is going on now, and your navigation always on. If I just move this, I could go to all the menus like your EV range, map, your destination, phone projector, voice memo, setup, 3D setup, tune mix, media, phone, HD radio, climate, Seats, quiet mode, connected service, valet mode, notification, and owner's manual. And that's pretty much it. If you go to the cameras of the car, you can see this is the Genesis GV60 right there. And the quality and everything is actually really good. And then you can also see the front and the rear cameras from here. Very simple to use, not that complicated. Let's come down from there. These are for changing the temperatures from either side. And then this is for auto, off, no outsider coming inside. You have shortcut buttons here for your infotainment. This is for the hazards. This is fully digital for the where you want the air and AC vents. I mean AC fan speed. And on this side, you could sync it. Rear windshield heater, front windshield heater, and this side temperature. And you could also turn off that one. So only drivers and AC or heat on. And the wind speed, you could decide it by yourself or put it in auto. It depends on you. Now it's everything on auto. And then if I open this, you have a storage area here for your mobile devices or wallet. And then if you come down there, you have another storage area here for more stuff. And you have the start button here, and that's it. Now if you come to the steering wheel, the steering wheel is fully white leather strapped. And you have some buttons here for this, and these buttons are for the safety systems. This is for the driving mode, this is for the boost gauge. And yeah, that's it. Now I'm going to show you the car's instrument cluster. So before I start the car, you could see the GV60 there, the full electric version that we are doing the video of. And then if you turn it on, it turns on with a nice animation. So first of all, you have your 
power gauge here so when it's charging when you're putting power then you have which gear you're in i mean which drive neutral or reverse then it says ready this is the warning it has a tms light on because tire pressure low this is for the safety systems assistance this is for the speed limit monitor this is how much kilometer the car can go how much range it has parking brake on how much charge the car has outside temperature how much charge it has how much it's going to give the fuel economy not fuel economy battery economy mm -hmm. then you have your kilometer and driving mode so if i change the driving mode so this is eco then you have comfort then you have sport mm -hmm. so i'm going to keep it on eco and when you do the hazards you can see your blind spot monitoring camera appears and you can see both of the sides and you can also change some stuff too so you could look at your driver info navigation mm -hmm then back to your normal stuff but yeah it's pretty easy to use not that complicated and on this side you have your headlight and windshield headlight and high beam controls and on this side you have your windshield wiper controls that is on rain sensing mode and you have paddle shifters but these are not for changing gears. this is for if you're launching the car you can hold this on launch and if you're braking you can hold this in brake to get maximum performance out the car and you have your boost gauge here so if you're taking off and launch control, you can use this to get extra power. And yeah, that's going to be it for this. And I forgot to show you the heads up display. So if you go up, this car also has a heads up display that is same as Genesis cars. So you have your speed, speed limit monitor and navigation if you have it on. Mm. If you turn it off, you have your Genesis written. First of all, you have your HC vent here, closer and opener. And this is for opening the boot and closing the boot. This is for the parking brake. This is for the brightness of the instrument cluster. This is for the traction control of the car. This is for opening the hood and closing that. This is dead pedal, brake pedal, and you have a grass pedal here. Then if you come up here, the telescope and tilted steering wheel is fully powered adjustable. And then if you go to the seats, all the adjustment is here with the under thigh support as well. That's good. Now let's come to the door of the car. First of all, you have your bang left and Twitter. Then you have your this gray leather with stitching and then your treatment here with your reflective treatment door handle. And this is for your mirror control. So left and right, the controller from here. But on the other side, you have your Twitter and you can actually control the volume from that. Let's come back here. You have your lock, unlock, window openers, window lockers, and grab handle and a bottle holder here. And then a the big bang. speaker here and another Twitter here of bang and left shin. And then there's a reflector back there, but for that grab handle. And then there's a reflector here, so at night the other car can notice that the door is open. Now let's go for a drive. Before we drive this car, let me show you the front and back feature of it. So this is the key, okay? So you have to lock the car and then you can turn this and then the car is going to turn on, hopefully. And I don't know the sound, so yeah, hopefully it's on. And then you can reverse the car and get the car front by just the buttons here. So if I just press this button, you go, it's automatically going to go back without anyone sitting inside the car. And then that's for brake. And the brakes are hard. And then for getting it front again, I can just do that and forward. But it's coming really slow because there's a car there. I'm going to see if it actually stops or not. There, that's it. Now let's go and drive this car. So let's drive the car. Put on the brake, pressing the start button. There it turns on. So I'm just gonna keep it uh, staying straight up. So whenever you drive, make sure you wear your seat belts because it's the law. And I'm driving in a parking lot. So yeah, it's none of a problem. So here we go, drive. First of all, let's open the panoramic roof because the weather's really nice today and I wanna see the sky. There it opens. So, here we go. The as this is the Genesis's first electric car, and this is based on the Hyundai Ioniq 5. So, electric cars are very different to drive than petrol cars. Like, my foot is off the gas, but the car is still braking for the regenerative brake, so it can get better charge and fuel economy, I mean, battery economy on the car. So first, let's check out the turning radius of the car. That is 39.2 feet. So when you turn on your hazards on, and then if I take a full turn, 
as this is a smaller car this has a better turning radius obviously and it's more easier to take a turn and as you can see i just did and as it's an electric car it is supposed to be fast and it has a boost gauge so yeah it should be pretty good so if you put it on sport and there just feel that g-force that is fast because it's obviously electric so no transmission lag no turbo lag no nothing that's just straight up bang 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 but yeah i'm not a big fan of electric cars but let me know what your opinion is on electric cars turn this and then i have to show you one more feature of this car that is inside the instrument cluster so if you look at the instrument cluster now so whenever you move your hazards you can see the blind spot monitoring mirror keeps coming on so yeah now let's go back again and this is a very muddy place so yeah i can't put gas it's like always slipping just press on the gas it just just wants to go bro like it doesn't have as big battery as the porsche taycan but yeah it is very fast if i'm not gonna lie so yeah we are back and put it back to park and whenever you turn off the car this thing does a nice thing and just rolls around so thanks for watching this video until then see you at the next video if you need any genesis cars you can talk to genesis brampton i'm going to link michael's phone number at the description until then see you at the next review peace